Hey there, so in this video I'm going to be talking about one of the ways that you can minimize your losses on cryptocurrencies. Okay, so uh, this topic or the idea behind this video came about when a friend of mine had bought some cryptocurrency from an exchange and he was just wondering whether it, it was safe to leave it on there and so on and so forth. And it, coincidentally, uh, it's around the same time that this article had, uh, I guess, it was released or since this event happened where a South Korean exchange or crypto exchange, uh, they got hacked and lost $50 million worth of Ethereum. Now, basically, the answer to that question is, uh, and this is kind of more of a public service announcement. So for anyone who uh, buys cryptocurrency from an exchange, you don't own those coins so essentially when you buy something you you pretty much don't own them until you take them off and send them to a wallet where you control the private keys to so essentially when you buy your cryptocurrency let's just say from i guess in this case pretend it's upbit so you you buy from upbit and you leave it there now up Upbit has full control of your coins because they've got your private keys. Now, if they get hacked, that means the Ethereum that they should owe you is gone, right? So the coins that you uh, are owed, they are no longer uh, in Upbit's control. So the challenge or the problem is with this is that even though Upbit owes you the uh, those those coins, if everything was withdrawn, let's just say all their coins was on the hot wallet and everything was withdrawn, then they really have uh, nothing to pay you back with. And that's kind of a problem because they can just close shop and say, oh, sorry, we got hacked, we lost all your money or your coins, and we're out of business. So in order to kind of, I guess, minimize your losses what you can do or not not only minimize but to prevent is to use a wallet where you control the keys so it could be a paper wallet it could be a cold wallet it could be a, um, a hot wallet but as long as you control the keys that's all that really matters now my, my friend who made this purchase on crypto it wasn't much but still it was uh he was just kind of worried about it and i said to him that if if it's an amount that you're ex you're okay losing let's just say if the exchange gets hacked then leave it on there but otherwise if you feel uncomfortable with that sort of amount then definitely take it off now everyone's amount or their threshold will be different but one of the things that i say is if you uh, pretend that the coins are gone how would you feel about it right so if you left a thousand dollars worth of crypto on an exchange and the exchange closed uh, and it didn't really phase you then okay leave it on there and this is uh, and this the the money or the funds or the crypto that you leave on this exchange or these places should only be used if you're actively trading it so if you've got an account with let's say Binance or Coinbase and you're actively trading that sort of amount, then okay, then leave it on. But if it's an amount that you're not trading with, then my suggestion would be to take those coins off again, because something like this could happen to you. I mean, it's not only this, but they also talk about how all these other exchanges got hacked here. But yeah, anyways, this is more of a public service announcement rather than a, a tutorial uh, on how to do, some, do something crypto related. But yeah, anyways, I uh, hope you found this video informative or educational. And if you did, please give this uh, video a thumbs up or a like. And uh, if you didn't, then leave a comment down below on what you didn't like and how I could have improved. But yeah, if you're interested in receiving notifications of my future videos, then hit that subscribe button. Other than that, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye for now.